Hey guys, Brent here from the Tab Engine, and today we're going to use the Tab Engine to create a printable coupon that we're going to put behind a fan gate on our fan page. So what's going to happen is when people come to the fan page, they're going to see the fan gate first. They're going to be instructed in order to like the fan page in order to get the printable coupon. Once they like the page, the page will refresh and they will then see the coupon and there's going to be a print button where they can print the coupon uh, to redeem at a local business or a store. So let's go ahead and create it and see how we do it. So the first thing we need is the coupon itself. So I'm going to grab the image widget, I'm going to drop it into the canvas, and I'm going to upload a background for our coupon. Alright, so I've selected my coupon background. I don't want it to be linkable at this point. I'm going to click Upload Now. And there's my background graphic for my coupon. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I want to fill it in with information. I'm going to use the text widget and I'm going to use the image widget in order to add a little graphic and text to say what the coupon is. So let's go ahead and fill that in. We'll just drag and drop them in there. Alright, so I've added my text and uh, I also want to resize this background a little bit. It's going to be a little longer than what I need. So I'm just going to grab it from the lower right hand corner here. And you can tell that you're in the right spot when you see the cursor change. You can see here it's a hand and here it's the arrows indicating you can resize it. So I'm going to grab it there and I'm going to resize it a little bit. Now I want to add a little more text. I want to have a little disclaimer down here saying when it's going to expire, one per customer, that type of thing. So I'm just going to go ahead again with the text widget and I'm going to add that in there. Alright, so now I got my disclaimer text. I'll put it in and then position it where I like it. Now the next thing I want to do is upload an image. I want to I want to have a product image here, something that matches uh, what the type of business that this coupon is going to be for. So I'm going to use the image widget here, and I'm going to upload an image with it. I'll just click on it, drag it into where I want it. It doesn't have to be exact since we can move it around then, but uh, to make it easy, drag it to the general location of where you want it. So now I'm going to click upload my image. And I'll just click the Upload Now button. So we're going to upload a picture of a bracelet. We're going to pretend that this coupon is for a jewelry store. We'll resize it so it fits inside of our coupon. You know, let's make it a little smaller. Let's put it right here. And then let's put the company name up here. This is just a sample coupon, so we're going to make up a company name. Uh, you could also upload a logo if you want it uh, and put it there, but we're just going to put a, a text name. We'll call it the uh, fictional jewelry store, Jay's Jewelry. All right. And in, in a real situation, you would also probably put the, uh, the place, the address, phone number, things like that. But again, this is just a demo, so we're just going to put a, a fake name in there. So since this is a coupon for a physical store, we're going to need a way for the users to be able to print the coupon so they can bring it into the store. Um, and obviously they can go up and use their browser's print function, but uh, that's not a very ideal way to do it because then it prints the entire page and they get the whole Facebook page printed and people don't like that. It wastes their ink. It's a real pain. Uh, so what we're going to use is the built-in print widget. So we'll just grab it, drag it in where we want it. Let's put it in the upper right hand corner. And of course we could resize it if we want. We're going to just leave it yeah, about that big. Alright, so now we have our coupon all set up. We have our print button. The last thing we need is to have this fan gated. So that way when customers come to the fan page, they have to like the fan page first in order to be able to get to the coupon itself. Um, it's a really good way to get fans for the, the fan page because they want the coupon so in order to get it, they have to click the like button. So what we're going to do is up top here, we're just going to click on the fan gating button. We're going to turn it on and then we're going to click view edit gate. It's going to ask us to choose the file that we want to upload. Now this file should be for best results 810 pixels wide. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and click choose file and upload the file that I, I want for my fan gate. All right, so now I have my fan gate uploaded and it's all ready. I can see the preview right there, so I can go ahead and close this window out. That's all done. And my page is completely done now. I've already published it, uh, so it's all set up and ready to go.